Welcome to r slash choosing beggars where people expect you to fund their lifestyle. Your cheesecake looked great on Saturday. Well, thanks so much. Hope you checked out the recipe to recreate it, haha. -ha. What are you making next? I don't know yet to be honest, but definitely some kind of cake. Gonna do regular this time, no keto, haha. -ha. Can I have it? I mean, if you live in or near Los Angeles and want to meet me in a public spot, I'd be down. I'm in Georgia. Well, I'm afraid that confuses things, but if you're ever in LA, let me know. I can whip you up something. Can't you ship it? I don't know the rules about shipping food, to be honest. Plus, I just signed up to donate cakes to foster kids, and I think I'll go with that for the time being, but try out the recipe and make it yourself. It's really fun. You don't need everything you make. I don't? I actually don't eat what I make typically. I give it to friends or work, but this donating thing I want to try so I can keep baking. Liar, you fat freak, not watching you stream again. Yo, this guy is actually trying to take cakes meant for foster kids. How low do you have to be? Hi, Navy Run. You have an absolutely beautiful, amazing voice. Is it true that the gig is $5 for 60 seconds, or is there some hidden costs? Regards. Yes, it is 5 USD for 60 seconds of my vocals. That's amazing! I am happy to promote your gig on my Facebook page, which has over 300 followers. Usually, this promotion is $60, but for you, I will trade it for only 10 minutes of your vocals on my tracks. What do you think? I'm so sorry, but I only accept payments in cash and not trades. Dang, bud, you really are one greedy son of a bee. Let me know when you change your mind. You ain't getting any orders with your current promotion level, clearly. You know what? I lied. Your gig is doo-doo and nobody will order from you ever. Good luck on here without being willing to spend anything on prop motion. I'm sorry I couldn't help you. Thank you for the advice. I just got my first three orders today, by the way. So let me see. If I do the calculations, it's $60 divided by 300 followers equals 20 cents per follower. So if we apply this to my channel and multiply this by, let's say, 775,000 subscribers, that means, OP, that you owe me $155,000 for promoting your business on my YouTube channel. Please send the money to r slash yt at gmail.com or I'm calling the cops. One star, terribly greedy. I visited the park with my family, partner, and our two boys. We paid 100 pounds and once in immediately waited in one of the queues for a ride. 30 minutes into waiting, I decided I didn't wish to waste my day in queues and left asking for my money back. They refused to refund any of my money. The most disgusting greed I have ever come across. Does this lady literally not know how lines work? This isn't my story, but one I heard on the radio. There's this radio show where I'm from where a lawyer does call-ins from people asking him to help arbitrate their cases. My country doesn't really have a small claims court, and most people are too poor to afford a lawyer anyway. One case involved a man who forgot his iPhone, whatever was new in 2016, in a taxi. Normally, that'd mean that the iPhone was lost forever because pawning a brand new iPhone could make you more than a month's salary. But the taxi driver was a decent person and found a way to return the phone. So why was this guy who, against all odds, got his then brand new iPhone back calling a lawyer? Because it wasn't returned sooner. Yes, the guy who forgot his iPhone and got it returned to him called a lawyer and tried to publicly shame the person who returned an iPhone, an iPhone that I would like to remind you probably cost more than he made in a month because it got returned to him the Monday after he lost it. He lost it on a Friday. He claims that he needed it for work and that it contains a lot of his personal information, but nobody believed him. The lawyer tore into him on live radio and he basically got shouted down for being an entitled butthole. So after reading this story, I spent like 30 minutes trying to track down the audio clip of this radio broadcast on the off chance that it just happened to be on English and online. Unfortunately, no dice, but man, I would love to hear that broadcast of that lawyer ripping this moron a new one. 
Hey, my friend told me you do commissions. Yeah, I do. Cool, what are your prices? Then OP lists out the prices. I take half up front for everything but bust line arts. I want a full body colored, but 20 is way too much. Will you do 10? Sorry, but I don't do discounts. The price is take it or leave it. That is ridiculous. No one's ever going to spend that much for your sucky art. I mean, my backlog of orders might disagree with you. If you can't pay for the full body, I do colored busts for 10 bucks. I don't want a bust. I want a full body. I know, but you can't pay for it. You can pay for a bust. Can't pay for it, lol. I make more in a day than you do in a month, jerk. Well, in that case, take all the art you want, your majesty. I had no idea I was dealing with such a high-class individual as you. F you, grunt. I don't know why anyone buys your sucky art. I'm giving you one last chance to accept my offer, then you're getting blocked. It's a no from me, love. F you, grunt. You sure do love naughty words, don't you? F off. No, you. That's it. You're getting blocked. It's pronounced Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. This guy is so incredibly rich and wealthy that he can't afford 20 bucks. Something tells me this guy is a lying sack of doo-doo who came straight from r slash I am very rich. Okay, so I want a logo for my YouTube TikTok channel when I upload mostly some CSGO and Minecraft edits. My username is blank, so I want to have big black B with some glow and some particles flying in the background. Send me at least five logos that were differently made so I can choose. It will be also for Twitter and Facebook fan page. Sure, but keep in mind that since you want five of them, it will be more expensive. Okay, no problem. I will pay more if you make it today. I will try to do that ASAP, but I cannot guarantee that it will be done today. Man, please. Look, I was planning to give you six bucks, one dollar for every draft, and one for making it quick. That is my PayPal. Now tell me yours, and I will pay you seven if you make it really quick. Eight? Hello? Where the freak are you at? I've spent six years studying graphic design. It cost me over $5,000 to go on them. I've also spent more than 2K on my hardware for graphic design and licenses, of course. And you are offering me $8 for five drafts? Yeah, but it will only take you about an hour of your time. $8 for one hour? I'm sorry, but that is more than effing good. Oh, you are probably right. I am sorry for the messages above. I will do it within an hour, smiley face. That is what I'm talking about. I was thinking about it. $8 is probably way too much. I will do it for 50 cents. 10 cents for every draft, smiley face. Done. I've really tried my best. What the actual F is that? This is garbage. I don't know, for 10 cents, that's actually a pretty good logo. To all the professional graphic designers out there, send me the worst, cheapest looking logo you can possibly imagine for my r slash YouTube channel. I will pick the worst looking logo, put it in one of my YouTube videos, and send the designer $100 over PayPal. So if you want to compete, send your terrible r slash logo to r slash yt at gmail.com. Friends come over to our house for a small dinner party, and their 13-year-old son is complaining that he's got nothing to do. I say, hey, head over to my home office. I'll fire up my PS4 and you can play on it. So I set it up for him and he starts playing. I have a lot of games on my PS4, so he has plenty of options, by the way. After about an hour, I go to check on him, and he's grumbling to everyone in the room. I wish this were an Xbox. This thing sucks. Should be an Xbox. I'm done with his flag and say, fine, you don't like it, don't play it. Give me the controller. I take the controller and shut down the system and say, there, go be bored. I then went to let his parents know just because they like to know when he's being a jerk to people. He's been doing it a lot lately. And both of them said, that is 100% A-OK -okay by us. He needs to stop with that stuff. His dad found him in another room and said, maybe next time when someone's being nice, you don't doo-doo on it. Just sit in that chair for the next hour until it's time to leave. 
For a hot second, I thought we were going to take a hard right turn into r slash entitled parentsville, but no, it's such a relief to see that there are actually some decent parents out there. Selling iPhone 8 Plus for $450. Is it still available? Yes, it's still available. Can you trade and meet today? Meet, probably. Trade, no. Cash only. Please, bro, I'm 14 and need a phone bad now, but can't get cash for five dit days. Well, shoot me a message in five days then. There's no way I'd let it go on goodwill. Please, I need a phone bad. I can't wait. So you expect me to come to you, give you my phone, and hope in five days you come back and pay me for it? I swear I'll pay you, please, I need a phone bad. Yeah, a I swear I'll pay you isn't gonna cut it. Come cash in hand and we'll talk. Nothing inspires confidence like, I'm 14, you can trust me. I had a roommate once upon a time, and this roommate had a friend. This friend is our choosing beggar. I had a regular job where I worked as a cook in a restaurant, but I am very good with computers and software problems. I know how to run diagnostics, remove viruses and spyware, reinstall windows, the whole works. If it's software, I can probably fix the problem and since this time I have done this for free for family only. The choosing beggar approaches me. So I heard you're good with computers. That's right. So can you like fix mine? Oh well, I don't know, I don't really do work for people I don't know. I'll pay you to do it. I just need it done on Friday. You're home then, right? I am and it'll be 25 bucks an hour. Yes, great, fine. Choosing Beggar brings her laptop over that Friday night and hangs out with her friend while I sit at the kitchen table, diagnose the problems and remove all the viruses. It takes three and a half hours and I give a rundown of the source of the problems, tell her it's been just over three hours but 75 bucks will be fine. I am assured that this is great. Choosing Beggar doesn't have money on her, and I'm skeptical about this, but I'll trust her. Big mistake. Choosing Beggar has to be asked several times through my roommate. The excuses begin. Oh sure, I'll bring it this week. I'm a little short, I'll come next week. I am starting to believe I am not going to see this money. I am surprised when Choosing Beggar comes over and she hands me an envelope with what should be my pay. I open it up and it's 30 bucks. I look at it and I look back up at her. It took me three hours, it's $75. Well, I talked to my dad and he says that's too much. It's really not, the professional places will charge you double or more and it was a lot of hard work. Oh, I know it was three hours, so I bought you three hours of what you normally make. This is not the same thing. This is a job that involves more technical know-how. I didn't cook for you. I fixed your computer. Well, this is all you're getting, so don't bother me again. This choosing beggar stiffed me 45 bucks. When she came back a month later telling me her boyfriend had downloaded all these viruses again, I just shrugged at her. She tried to get me to fix it again for free, but I refused. She already stiffed me and she had the nerve to come back and hope I'd do it again. Not a chance. I kind of feel like this is a ploy played by the choosing beggar's boyfriend. Babe, I don't know how all this porn got on your computer. I think it was all those viruses, but it definitely wasn't me. Hello everyone, this story just effing happened, like one hour ago. I received my paycheck, and like every sane person would do, I decided to go to the store to buy stuff. So I bought some junk food, nothing really expensive, and I bought a bottle of wine, a tasty but cheap one. So I go to the cashier and there was a woman in her 40s. She was buying just toilet paper and baby powder. But when she goes to pay, she didn't have enough money. Seeing that the two products were necessary, we all know the pain. No toilet paper equals crying in the shower. I offered to pay. She looked at me with stars in her eyes and told me she was really grateful. But then, choosing beggar attacks. No, not another person. She is the choosing beggar. Dun dun dun! She asked me if she could get one more thing. Looking at her, seeing what she was buying, I told her yes. She probably would want something urgent because she was asking a total stranger to buy, right? Wrong. She comes over with one of the most expensive bottles of wine in the shop, like 60 bucks. I looked at her shocked, but body blocked her. The conversation goes as follows. Excuse me, ma'am, but I will not pay for that. 
But you told me it was okay. I know that I said it's okay to buy another thing, but I never thought you would try to buy a bottle of wine. But you're buying one too. I really want one. At that moment, I was in a good mood, so I just told her, I can buy you a bottle. She literally lit up like a freaking Christmas tree. But I can't buy that one. It's really expensive. But I don't like cheap wine. She looked at the bottle in my hand and fake trembled like she was disgusted by it. Ma'am, sir, you are both holding up the line. I looked and really we were. Lady, it's your choice. Either a cheaper bottle or no wine. She just scoffed at me. Can't you understand? I don't like cheap wine. She told me like I was slow in understanding. I just looked at the cashier. I passed my things. Choosing beggar probably thought I was going to pass hers too. Nope, I paid mine and moved. Aren't you going to pay? She yelled. I just ignored her. Never abuse the goodwill of others. Moral of the story, cheap wine is the best, but cows can't really hold their liquor because they don't have hands. I don't know what sort of evening this choosing beggar had in mind that involved a bottle of wine, toilet paper, and baby powder, but I think I don't want to know. That was r slash choosing beggars, and as a reminder, I'm holding a contest for who can submit the absolute worst artistic rendition of my logo imaginable. Bonus points for extra entitlement. You can submit your entry at r slash yt at gmail.com.